Hi everyone, welcome back. Remember we are busy with a series of algebraic expressions and today is no different. We are going to do the laws of exponents. Now the laws of, ex of exponents are put in place in order to make our lives much more easy if, in order for us to understand, in order for us to write in alphabetical uh, language and also basically in order to answer our questions in the most shortest uh, format as possible. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at GA Online Teaching. Okay, so firstly I have 2x to the power of 3 over there. The 2 which is in front of my letter is known as the coefficient. The letter of x is known as my base and the exponent over there is 3 and that is known as your exponent or either your index. Most of the time we just use the word exponent. Okay, I have law number 1 law number two and law number five. The reason I have law number five over there is because of the easiest law out of the six. Okay, so law number one is when I'm multiplying and I have the same base, my exponents will add with one another. So two plus three is equal to five. Now don't forget in front of my letter there is no number, right? But that is known as your imaginary one and 1 multiplied by 1 will be equal to 1. Do I need to write the 1? No, I don't. Law number 2 is when I'm dividing and I have the same base or the same letter, my exponents will subtract. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Notice that law number 1 and law number 2 are opposites of one another. Law number one says, when I'm multiplying and I have the same base, the exponents add. Law number two says, when I'm dividing with the same base, I subtract my exponents. And the same happens with one divided by one is equal to one. And law number five, anything to the power of zero is equal to one. Two to the power of zero is equal to one. X to the power of zero is equal to one. From here, we're going to apply law number one, law number two, and law number five into uh, various examples. On to example number one. I have negative four x cubed y to the power of six multiplied by negative five x and y squared. The first thing I do is I multiply my numbers. Negative four multiplied by negative five is equal to positive 20. x to the power of 3 multiplied by its corresponding x and remember because this is law number 1 I'm multiplying but I have the same base. What happens to my exponents? They add. So the 3 plus 1 will be equal to 4. The same thing happens with the y. y to the power of 6 multiplied by y squared. Because I'm multiplying and I have the same base what happens to the exponents? They add, and that will be my answer. Next example, 36x to the power of 7 over or divided by 6x to the power of 3. The first thing, what happens? I divide my numbers, or also known as my coefficients. 36 divided by 6 is equal to 6 x to the power of 7 divided by x to the power of 3 because it's the same base and I'm dividing what happens to the exponents they subtract so 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 okay over here I have a slightly more complicated example and this would go for more about 4 or 5 marks Okay, but the concept remains the same. Let's first work with my numerator, then our denominator. So negative 2 multiplied by 9. I always multiply my coefficients first. And that is going to be equal to negative 18. Then I multiply the corresponding letters. So a squared multiplied by a. What happens when I'm multiplying? And I have the same base. 2 plus 1 will be equal to? 3. What about my b's? b multiplied by b. This is imaginary 1, imaginary 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to b squared. c to the power of 4 multiplied by c to the power of 4 is equal to c to the power of 8. 
over 36 a squared c to the power of 7 okay so remember now I have a division negative 18 divided by 36 what number goes into 18 as well as into 36 that answer is 9 so 9 goes into there twice 9 goes into there uh, four times so negative 2 a to the power of 3 divided by a squared what happens to the uh, exponents they subtract it will be a to the power of 1 do I need to write the 1 no I don't b squared divided by no b squared stays the same c to the power of 8 divided by 7 to c to the power of 1 do I need to write it down no what do I have left the 4 over there divided by 4 now Remember, I can go further over here. Negative 2 divided by 4 is going to be equal to negative a half. And then this stays exactly the same. So that is a, b squared, and c. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at GA Online Teaching.